You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. Firstly, thank you very much for joining us. I was hoping you could uh, just sort of introduce yourself first and then tell us a little bit about your involvement in Art in the Park. Yes, of course. Uh, my name's Kerry. We come from an um, organisation called Jimmy's um, that has now changed to MBR Productions and Events. Uh, we started off last year at Art in the Park through um, arranging a children's workshop for children with disabilities, um, ADHD, behavioural problems... And we've sort of gone on from there. So we've took over this year's event to bring a lot more to the community, such as, um, well, live music and and more workshops and different organisations that are up and coming and have been long standing. And we're looking forward to it. Yeah, as I understand, Art in the Park's been going a fair few years. You're now taking it over. How's that going? Um, it's going really well, actually. We're really looking forward to it. We've got a lot of things planned for this year that wasn't, um, involved last year we're working with different organizations such as kent discount cards big jam studios um yeah so it's going to be a good event to come to i was hoping you could tell us a bit more about that especially if someone hasn't heard about it what is it all about definitely um art in the park is all of a, a range of different arts in all its forms so it'd be from music from um artwork that's actually going to be shown on display from dance from gymnastics from any kind of performance that um, relates to art and creativity is what Art in the Park's all about. So tell us a bit more about some of the things people will see if they go along. OK, so we've got a variety of activities going on throughout the day. We've got born gymnastics, we've got um, the Medway Eagles drumming joining us, we've got Diversity House, we've got Big Jam Studios uh, presenting the stage for the day. We've also got one of our um, local young uh, musicians, Hannah Linnahum. Um She's going to be performing live on stage, which we've managed to... She's been in the studio and worked with Big Jams and, and sort of grown her her creative side and she's going to be doing a live performance on the day we've got jar troopers coming down uh, which is a reggae band we've got a variety of different music all throughout the day we've got artwork on display we've got um we've got some things for the children to do it is fancy dress and we will be giving out um prizes for the children that are involved uh we've got a lot going on yeah it's going to be a really good day and it's all set in a pretty amazing park, isn't it? It is, and that's what we're trying to promote as well, obviously the use of our greenlands and try to draw attention to Milton Creek Country Park. And I understand that the railway are involved. Yes, they definitely are. They're going to be running from 11 till 6pm of a night. Um, to go to the light railway, you have to go to the back of McDonald's and Pizza Hut, uh, which you can go every hour the train will be running throughout the park. So it's a good way to jump on board if you'd like to have a little tickle or whatever, and uh, you know. Because <laughs> it makes a special stop, doesn't it? It does. In the park. It actually stops in the park. Um, they, they, yeah, they're making it part of a part of the community. Um, like to get their family involved and in taking the train rides as well as come to come to the event as well. So tell us a bit more about the uh, charities involved. Okay, there's a lot of charities involved. We have um, Demelza, we have um, Ad Action, we have uh, New House, we have the uh, Memorial Hospital, we have the Lions, we have, we've got quite a variety of um, people attending the event and it's, it's going to be a day to remember. So, And are you still looking for more sort of groups oh, and people definitely. to get in touch? Yes, definitely. If um, people would like to get involved or um, just find out some more info about next year's event as well, then please do get in touch um, with myself or, or on Facebook with um, Art in the Park Swell or through my phone number. If you want to talk a little bit about um, some of the uh, school involved. Yes, definitely. We've got Regis Manor and Westlands Primary School involved in this year's Art in the Park, which we will be displaying their work within the church, uh, Milton Church, right next to the Country Park, as well as Age Concern also getting involved to show their work off as well. So I was just hoping you could just refresh our listeners, of course, where and uh, when it is, but also give them any useful contact details where they can find out more. Definitely. It's on the 19th of August and it starts at 11 o'clock. We're at Milton Creek Country Park. If you do require any more information, please look us up on Facebook. Um, and also you could give me a call on 07495 Um We're looking forward to have the whole community involved and we look forward to seeing you there. 
Well, I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time out to talk to us here at BRFM all about art in the park. Thanks ever so much for having us.